This morning host Holly Willoughby has been placed under police guard after an alleged plot to kidnap the TV presenter was uncovered. The 42-year-old was pulled from presenting her ITV show on Thursday morning when the alleged kidnap plot came to light. Holly is believed to be distraught and being watched by a round-the-clock police guard at her home. Essex police confirmed a 36-year-old man was arrested at a flat in Harlow on Wednesday evening on suspicion of conspiracy to kidnap. Holly is thought to have found out about the terrifying plot just before she was due on air yesterday and was removed from presenting the show with just minutes to spare as a result. Police officers are still outside the home the presenter shares with her husband, Dan Baldwin, and their three children, Sonas Harry and Chester and daughter Belle. As well as round-the-clock police protection, ITV have also given Holly 24 hours security, the PA news agency understands, in what will be a very worrying time for her and her husband Dan, who she went 16 years ago. The couple have a rock-solid marriage, here we take a look at how Holly's relationship with her husband has been so successful as he remains her rock. Holly insists the key to keeping their love alive is lust. She revealed on this morning, we still fancy the pants off each other. I always say to Dan we're very lucky, we've got each other, family, a lovely home, she added. He's got his own production company, which is hugely successful. We're very lucky, that's for sure. And Holly believes honesty and communication is also key to success. We're very honest with each other, we listen to each other, she said. I love him and he loves me. We respect each other and we probably drive each other round the twist. But we give each other space for that as well. And Holly keeps things spicy in the bedroom, too, with an unusual request. I love wearing new shoes during sex, and not just because it's kinky, she admitted. I'm not a foot fetishist or anything, and I do enjoy saucy games with my hubby, but I have found the best way to break in new shoes is to wear them during sex. It's become a sort of rule whenever I get a new pair of shoes. I always wear them in the bedroom, during the sex act, before I take them outside. She added, every girl loves a new pair of six inch heels and I'm no different. Holly and Dan tied the knot in a star-studded ceremony at St. Michael's Church in 2007. This was followed by a wedding reception at the stunning Amberley Castle with Holly wearing a beautiful white gown with a sweetheart neckline, which she had designed and a friend of hers had made. But she made one sartorial choice she would live to regret, high heels. I wanted the massive dress and the towering heels, she confessed. But I regretted it and I ended up walking around barefoot for the whole day. It was fun. But the hem of my dress is ruined now. She went on, I think I did know this, but I still think it doesn't go in. Everybody says pace yourself, enjoy it, take a moment to stand in the corner of the marquee and take a look at everybody. Remember those small moments, take a moment with your husband to look at everybody so you remember that day because it goes so fast and it is one of the best days of your life. I know it's a cliché, but it absolutely is. Holly also spoke to Fabulous magazine about how marriage is not always easy, particularly when you are tired out. Marriage is something we have to work at, she said. You're an idiot if you think you just get married and then you tick along happily ever after for the rest of your life. She added, at the same time it shouldn't be too difficult, but I do believe tiredness has a lot to answer for. But Holly never even imagined when she first met Dan that they would be romantically involved, let alone become husband and wife, because they were just good friends. 
they met on the set of TV show Ministry of Mayhem in 2004, when he was a producer and she was a presenter. At first, I didn't fancy Dan at all, I didn't even think about it, she admitted. I don't think he could have fancied me either because it was such a genuine friendship. To celebrate her 13-year anniversary with Dan, Holly posted an adorable photo of her smooching her groom on the day. Yesterday marked 13 years since this photo was taken, she wrote. I love you so much Daniel. Totally blessed. My absolute world. Holly and Dan have three children together, Harry, Belle, and Chester. While Holly chooses to keep her children's faces obscured in pictures, she still pays tribute to them with artistic photos.